Hey diecast collectors, model builders, just taking another quick look at my 124th and 118th scale and a few smaller scales mixed in diecast collection. If you watched my video, I think two videos ago I showed my collection and you can probably tell that it's a little bit more spaced out. The reason it's more spaced out now, and I'm able to dust them a little bit better, display them a little bit better, is because I finally was able to get my new diecast cabinet in my room. And here is my new diecast cabinet. This is an antique. I'm not sure the age, don't really care the age, the value, it's more sentimental value. Uh, it's an Ebert Bowfront China Closet is what it's called. And when my father-in-law passed away three years ago, and we moved my mother-in-law in with us, we put a lot of their furniture in storage. And I'm finally getting this out and into my die cast room. And uh, it's going to help keep dust off of some of my collection. Um, Ebert Company was in business from 1854 to 1959 in Pennsylvania. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure the age of this. There is a label on the back that I will show a picture of later in the in the slideshow at the end. Anybody familiar with that company and with their products, if you have any information that you'd like to share, I'd appreciate it. Um, the only thing I'm missing is there's a key that is supposed to latch the door and uh keep it shut all the way so we got to work on finding a key i think it's just a generic barrel key that goes in there but uh yeah i can put quite a few of my cars and trucks in here i want to get some type of little lights to go in Side the cabinet, it is, as you can see, kind of dark in there, and it's dark wood. But yeah, it's going to help a lot with keeping some of my vehicles dust-free. So there you have it. My new antique. bow front china closet now a die cast cabinet I want to thank everybody for watching thank my new subscribers I want to do a couple of shout outs of some channels that I've recently subscribed to that you guys should check out Southpaw Diecast Spork S-P-O-R-K Syndicate C-R-A Diecast and Glenn's Models. Those are the four that I have most recently subscribed to. So you guys, check them out. I think you'll like their channels. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.